Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. And today we're visiting a solar farm outside of Denver, Colorado. And we're trying out the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the M300 RTK with the H20T payload on it. Now what this is gonna allow us to do is two different things. First, using the thermal camera, we can look at the solar panels here and actually see if there's panels that are not operating at full efficiency. That'll show up as an anomaly in the thermal image. Then, using the visual camera, we can try and inspect it to see what's wrong. Now, with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, while the thermal camera is going to do the exact same thing as the thermal camera on the M300, the visual camera does not have zoom capability. So in order to see if there's a, a physical problem, we would have to fly closer and see what's actually wrong. With the M300, that H20T payload has a 23 times zoom camera on it, so we can not even move, stay there in position, zoom in, and see what's wrong. So in one case, we actually found that there was a problem with a cell. Turned out it just was dirty from some bird droppings, and we could see that with the zoom camera, but it was not easy to see that with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced without actually flying lower to do that inspection. So in some cases, the M300 with the H20T is gonna be a better option for these thermal inspections of solar panels because you have that dual ability to see a problem, zoom in on it, and see what's wrong without having to change your flight, change your altitude. Now, both are gonna do the job, but I think the M300 with the H20T is gonna to prove to be the better bet. Well, there we have it. We have flown the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T module on it, inspecting the solar farm here. We were able to spot some anomalies. We were able to see what was wrong by zooming in with them or flying closer with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Both options are perfectly valid for a situation like this, but the M300 does have the advantage of having that zoom camera and not having to kind of stop, fly down, see the issue, and then get back to the rest of the inspection. You can just stop at whatever altitude you're at, zoom in with that camera, and see what's wrong. And fortunately, most of the cases that we saw here on this farm just happened to be bird droppings, but it was valid. They were able to see that they were not working efficiently, go out, clean them, and get them back operational. Now, environmentally today, we were flying in some pretty heavy winds. We had gusts up to 25 miles an hour and both aircraft performed perfectly. So if you're looking to do solar panel inspections, either the Matrice 300 RTK with the H20T or the M Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, they're both gonna do the job for you perfectly. So thanks for watching. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.